Hello. In this training video, we're going to go through the song, My Jesus, I Love Thee. Uh, beautiful song. It's a prayer. It's a prayer to Jesus. It's a song telling Jesus that you love him. And it is, uh, it's an expressive kind of an emotional song, uh, but the signs themselves are just kind of fluid. So we'll get into that. Let's, let's get through the vocabulary first, though. Here is the vocabulary for my Jesus, I love you. Okay. Before I get into the vocabulary, and if you've watched my videos, you know, if this is your ninth year or your tenth year doing this with me, I'm not going to apologize for telling you something you already know. But we're going to learn these things as sentences and phrases. We're not going to learn them as words. Okay? When you're learning to write, you learn to write in letters. You learn how to figure out how to write the letters. You form them into words, and then you write in words. But then when you learn to speak, you speak in sentences. You don't speak in words. Words create a sentence. See what I'm saying there? Okay. So I'm going to give you the vocabulary for the word, but we're going to practice this through as sentences and phrases. Okay. So my Jesus, I love thee. My. It's an open palmed hand pressed at your chest. In sign language, the open palm shows ownership. Yours, mine, it's, his, hers, his, okay? The direction that the hand is shows where the ownership lies. The same thing could be done with a finger, only it's not ownership. It's you, you, her, him, me, I, okay? Pronouns. My, Jesus, and that should be an obvious one. It's the center finger touching the palms of each of your hands. Jesus. And Jesus happens to be one of those two-syllable words that has a two-syllable sign, if you want to think of it that way. Jesus. I love, just like you're holding on to your teddy bear. Love. The. Okay. This is King James. This is out of, who knows, the... A uh, long time ago, all right? But it's in the song, and the thee means just you, okay? So, my Jesus, I love you, or you, either way. For some reason, the deaf will use an open palm pointing up when they point up, and I don't understand that. I just know it to be a fact. But they also do you, and that's a fact as well. Whichever one works best for you, I might do either one of them in the song. I don't know. Uh, whatever the mood hits me, all right? And I'm pointing up because, well, that's where Jesus lives. In sign language, God and Jesus live, they're sitting on a cloud right there. I don't know whether you can see them or not, but right there, sitting on the cloud, right next to the chair with the harp, all right? That's where they live. All right. I know. All right, just point to your head. No, I know that. All right, I know thou. Thou and thee, same thing. Why are they doing different words? I don't know. Thee, thou, are mine. Art. Okay, this is art, not art. Art like in your did with watercolors. All right, this is another one of those King James words. Art means are. All right. I know you are mine. That's what it said. I know you are mine. I know thou art mine. All right. See how I'm doing that? And I allow my eyes to go up there and see because, you know, it helps when I can actually see that cloud. My face knows what to do when I'm looking at and talking to God and I can actually kind of see him up there. For thee, all the follies of sin I resign. 
for the all. Okay, four. Point to the forehead and just rotate the wrist. The arm stays pretty much the same. V. For the all. One hand up with the knuckles out. Put a little roof on it. Circle the roof around and make the roof a wall. <laughs> Did that make sense? All right. All the follies. Okay. Follies is foolish things. This is foolish. It's a Y hand kind of going across the nose. You don't thump your nose, but it kind of goes across the nose. Foolish things. This is the sign for things. There's no real good sign for follies. So we have to sign it as foolish things. For thee, all the follies of sin, I resign. All right. Follies, foolish things, of, if you want to use the word of, you finger spell it, O-F, of sin. Two X fingers kind of coming from the chin and coming out a little bit. Kind of makes a little loopity loo thing here. Okay. Sin, I resign. I am going to take my sin, my sin, and I'm going to push it away. I'm going to give it up. And since God is over there, I want my sin to go that way. Okay? That's kind of a, a dichotomy. I don't want to, to push my sin this way. I want to push it that way. I want to get it away. I want me. Not I don't want, it, don't want, don't want my sin between God and I. All right? I gladly resign. Uh, I say all follies of sin, I resign. My gracious, my grace, and I'm really not sure of a good way to sign gracious. It's one of those words that we know the meaning of, but we can't, it's difficult to express. So we just sign it as grace. My gracious redeemer. Okay, grace, by the way, is circle splat circle splat sort of like the light shining down on you all right my gracious redeemer letter r cross come apart coming down this is redeem okay redeem er whenever you see this in a sign it means that it is a person who does the previous sign so a redeem er Okay, my Savior art thou, my, okay, this is redeem, this with an S is save, a person who saves, Savior, see how that works, all right, Savior art thou, if, it's the letter I, kind of pointing to your upper cheekbone, I, or if, ever, Two fingers pointing up, point them down and around and up over your shoulder. So now I'm pointing over my shoulder. Okay? Ever. Okay? Ever. That seems like for, since forever. Since all, all those kind of, you know, periods of time. If ever I love thee. My Jesus, tis now. Okay? Tis is, is, it is. It's a contraction. And we're just going to sign it is if we put it in there at all. We might even drop it. If you leave that out completely, it's okay to do so. All right? My Jesus is now. All right? You can leave it out and it still expresses fine. That's the whole first verse. Second verse. I love thee. And see, a lot of these signs repeat themselves. Because. Just wipe the sweat off your, your brow there a little bit. And come up with a little bit of a hitch at the end. Because thou first. 
thumb up and just thump the top of your thumb. First loved me. And open palm pointing off to one side, coming back, and purchased. Take the hand. I've got money in my hand here. I'm going to take some of this money. I'm going to give it to you. Purchase. My pardon. Forgiveness. These are all the things that you've done wrong. Can you see them? There's a long list of everything there that I've done all those things wrong. Wipe them clean. Okay. Forgive my pardon. My forgiveness. On Calvary's tree. What is Calvary's tree? It is a cross. So I'm going to knock on a rock. I'm going to climb a hill, make a hill there, and I'm going to put a cross on top. That is Calvary's tree. On Calvary's tree. I love thee for wearing the thorns on thy brow. I love thee for wearing the thorns on thy brow. Okay? Brow is just you just running finger across it. Thorns are pains. Alright? Just kind of little twists around the head. And this is the sign for crown. So what you're doing is you're drawing a picture of the crown of thorns on your brow. Okay? If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. Okay? That is the vocabulary for my Jesus, I love thee. I think if you spend a little bit of time with this, you'll get this vocabulary down pretty quick. But notice that I put those words together as I was building out my vocabulary. Do that while you're building out your vocabulary. Learn to say, my Jesus. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. Okay? Run them together. Make them sentences instead of individual words. Look forward to seeing you there at LTC. Get to where your hands can do these things without a whole lot of brain thinking. Then move on to the next video where we actually will sing the song through slowly. Okay? See you at LTC.